Lone Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. There they are. All right, let's get them. Russell, our cattle, you Canucks are all alike. We do not Russell. We buy those cattle. Mama! Oh, I did my son. But who? Those men from the Slauson Ranch, they come. They say your father steals their cattle. And, and they... <laughs> Papa paid for those cattle. They are ours. <laughs> no, no, please, my son. No. I will kill those men. Dear, you must not. You must not. You are but a boy. They will murder you. Then what will become of me? There are some things a man must do. Vandalia has always been a peaceful town, Kimusemi. Well, it's not peaceful now, Tonham. One murder after another. Horse stealing, cattle rustling. Why a change, Kimusemi? Because government opened land for homesteaders? I don't know, Tonham. They're blaming the trouble on the Canucks. The people who come from Canada? Yes, it's odd. In Canada, they were religious, law-abiding people. Why them change? Because they're new here in this country? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Stop it, son. Now, why were you trying to drag out those men? Because they are murderers. They kill my father, steal our cattle. Well, that may be true. But once you've taken the law into your own hands, you're a criminal, too. You'll ruin your life. Let the law punish them. Yankee law. I spit on your Yankee law. It is not for Mama and me. We are Canucks. Suppose we ride into Vandalia, have a talk with Marshal Dillon. He's a fine peace officer and a friend of mine. So, you are a friend of Marshal Dillon's. That's why you stop me. That's why you wear a mask. You are one of them! Stop it, son. I think we'd better take you home and have a talk with your mother. Merci, monsieur. Merci, I thank you for saving my son. It is enough I lose my husband, but if I lose Etienne also... And you say your husband bought those cattle? Oui, monsieur. Well, in that case, you must have a bill of sale to prove it. None of them had any proof. None? The other men who were murdered and called rustlers. But these families do say they bought the cattle. We are honest people, monsieur. We do not steal. We will trouble them no more. We will go back to Canada, at once. Mama, what about Papa Baptiste? Papa Baptiste? Papa Baptiste is rich from Lombard. He gave us money, all of us, to come to this country to make a French settlement. We, oui. we had a letter this morning. Papa Baptiste is on his way here now. Well, may I see that letter? Oui, monsieur. Papa Baptiste arrives tomorrow. Oui, monsieur. Well, I think you should stay, ma'am. One day won't make any difference. And it could mean saving everything you've worked for. He is right, maman. Then you trust these men? Oui. Très bien. 
We will wait for Papa Baptiste. Tragedy. This man was the Canuck's last hope for happiness in our country. When him not come, Canucks all quit and go back to Canada. Maybe they won't go back. I have a plan, Tonto. Mr. Slosher, I have come to you because you are a friend of my people. Well, that's right. What can I do for you, uh, Mr. Pierre? Pierre Baptiste. The one called Papa Baptiste? Uh, oui, monsieur. That is uh, my nickname. Monsieur, I wish to buy the cattle. Buy cattle? Oui, monsieur. For the families of Canucks who were killed as wrathless. I see. Uh, monsieur, there is just one thing. My people, they are proud. They will not accept the charity. Uh huh. Well, now, maybe I can help you there. Suppose we have my men deliver the cattle to the Canucks ranches as. Uh, well, let's say gifts. Gifts of uh, sympathetic American friends. C'est magnifique. Bien, monsieur. Bien. Voila. Now, monsieur, if you will give Pierre the bill of sale. Anything for a friend. You know, you're the kind of a man it's a pleasure to do business with. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Merci, merci beaucoup. There, that should do it. All legal and proper. Perfection, monsieur. I'll have my men cut out and deliver the cattle right away. Au revoir. Dan, I wanted... Something is wrong, monsieur? You are sick? No, there's nothing wrong. I'm all right. Ah, très bien. Then I will be going. There is much to do. Au revoir. Au revoir, monsieur. What's wrong with you? Well, it ain't every day you can speak to a dead man. What? I swear that's the Canuck I killed on the Vendalia Road. <laughs> well, you must have missed. And the old coot played possum. Good thing, too. Or we wouldn't have this. Hey, where'd you get it? Sold him some cattle for the Canuck families. Cattle that will never have to leave the ranch. We're supposed to deliver them. That's a good one, that is. And the next time you shoot Papa Baptiste, make sure he's dead. Don't worry, I will. Voila! Now remember, if you abandon the homestead before five years, you lose the house and all improvements, too. Agreed, agreed. Monsieur, there is just one thing. What's that? I have bought the cattle. You record for Prisier the bill of sale, oui? Sure thing. Is this a joke or what? Monsieur, what do you mean? This paper, it's blank. Blank? Oh, monsieur, Pierre is a stupid fellow. He makes a big mistake. I bring the wrong papier. Pierre, be right back. Be right back. Au revoir. Did everything go all right, Kimsami? I think so, Tunnel. As Papa Batiste would say, we are ready to bait the trap. I need your help. I won't miss.
out and shoot. Me shoot him. You what for? Kinnock. Me hate Kinnock. You sure he's dead? You try to say I miss? Oh, put that away. You know, I know a man who can use you if you want a job. Not Canuck? No. Man I work for, Dan Slauson. Me plenty poor. Could use job. Good. What matter? Nothing, I guess. All of a sudden, it struck me that I've seen you somewhere before. This man's body beside the road. Been shot. Well, that's the man who was in my office yesterday. Filed for a homestead. You're under arrest, masked man, for murder. And what authority? My own. Who else? I'm marshal of this town. Roy Dillon. You're who? Roy Dillon. Now turn over your guns. You're in trouble, mister. Real trouble. Riding into town with this cock and bull story about finding a body. I'll bet you're the one who's been murdering these Canucks all along. Come on, I got a nice, clean cell all swept out for you. Do you mind looking after my horse? Sure thing. We have lost all hope. We all go back to Canada. If you do, you lose everything. Your land, your homes. And my son. Etienne? Oui. When he heard you had murdered Papa Baptiste, he swore to get Ronson and Slauson himself. Do you believe I betrayed your trust? That I'm a murderer? No. For some reason, I do not. Mrs. Sharon, listen to me carefully. I'm being held here illegally. The man wearing that badge is not Marshal Dillon. Then he is working with him? There's no doubt of it. The real Marshal Dillon is my friend. I believe he was murdered on the trail to Vandalia. But what can I do? Go home. Persuade your son not to make this terrible mistake. Ask your people to wait just a little longer. Then there is still hope. There is still hope. We can't wait any longer. You stay here, Injun. Tell Ronson we've gone to the Parachate place, then to Sharon's to buy him up. Ah, me tell him that. Let's go, Dylan. What you doing, engine? like Mr. Slauson saying. Yeah? Now I know you. You're the engine that was with the masked man the first time I shot Batiste. He said he would. Now, where is it? Get him. 
I warned you about taking the law into your own hands? You warned me after you killed Papa Batiste. I didn't kill Papa Batiste. I was Papa Batiste. Etienne, for your mother's sake, I want you to help me. Take your gun. Go on, take it. I'll do exactly as I tell you. I'm gonna give you one more chance, Etienne. See what that is. Hey, what were those shots? Hey! Two shots, they come at the right time? Perfect. Now help me get these two inside. Find the land agent Burrow. Bring him to the Chiron place. Etienne, when your father was killed, was there a blank piece of paper in his pocket? Oui. It's just what I wanted to know. Dan Slauson will be here any minute to buy your ranch. I want you to sell it to him. Say it? But uh, I do not understand. You will. Write the bill of sale with this ink. Use no other. But, uh, I do not understand. Lawson and the phony marshal. I want you to do exactly as I told you. This thing. I, uh, I've always been a good friend to you, Canucks. That's why I'm buying up all your ranches, giving you a stake to go back to your homes in Canada. It is very kind of you, monsieur. Now, uh, how much would you take for your place, ma'am? Uh, how much were those cattle my husband stole? Oh, about uh, $500. Then that is what I will take. All right, ma'am, it's a deal. If you just uh, give us the deed. I do not have a real deed. I will write you, how you call it, a bill of sale. Mrs. Huron. Legal in any court. Now, here is your money. And bon voyage on your trip back to Canada. Bye, ma'am. You know, Dan, we control every last piece of property in this valley now. And with a new railroad company... Wait a minute. What's the matter? It's blank. She cheated us. Something is wrong, monsieur. Look at that. A blank piece of paper. That's right. Just like the bill of sale you gave her husband. And written with the same ink. The disappearing ink I found in your desk drawer. Now remove your gun belts. Real easy, like. All right, now, mister, drop your guns. She's going to be our safe conduct out of here. One move from you and she gets it. All right, come on, Dylan.
Canucks. Lawson posed as a friend of the Canucks. He sold you cattle, then wrote the bill of sale in disappearing ink. Keating makes the writing reappear. But, but how could he hope to get away with this? He was playing on a basic weakness of human nature, making everyone suspicious of those who speak in a foreign language, like you Canucks. Come. Monsieur, I, I owe you everything, my home, even my son. He's a good boy, now that he's learned to let the law do his fighting for him. Goodbye, Mrs. Charron. Au revoir. Au revoir, monsieur. He leaves, and I do not even know his name. I know it. He calls himself Le Chasseur Solitaire. The Lone Ranger. Silver! 